Hey guys, welcome back to another Swish 001 video. And today, we're back in X-Plane, as you can see right here. Today, we are on quite a nautical trip. We are on an aircraft carrier, and we have... Ow, oh, oh, that was accidental. We have just launched ourselves from an aircraft carrier that was actually accidental. I didn't mean to do this, but who cares? Today, we're going to talk about the C-130. Yeah, the C-130 is quite a special military, mostly military aircraft. Yeah, the C-130 is from Lockheed Martin. Oh, God. And it is very Russian, to say the least. I would describe it as Russian because it's very tough and it's very, uh, you know, it's very uh, versatile. It can be used for everything. You can probably even land this plane on the water. Now, yeah, this is an add-on plane. This is not the default C-130 as the default C-130 is really bad, like actually. But uh, I gotta be honest, this is like not a good aircraft either. I mean, this was $20, but yeah, it's better than the default C-130. X-Plane does have a default C-130, but that one doesn't even have have a 3d cockpit we have uh, four seats here we have uh, two pilot seats and one navigator seat or some kind of seat Duh. and here is some other person uh, this one is not a new plane which you can really tell by its instruments they are really outdated and we're about to crash into the oh show <clears throat> let's not do that again i guess okay so we have spawned back onto the aircraft carrier now let's take a look into the uh, actual cabin itself let's just check that out shall we yeah we have some cargo stuff going on we, we have a container here which has a red cross on it can we look inside of it now yeah, there's nothing inside of this one now i'm pretty sure you can somehow unload the aircraft and do stuff but i have not found the option to do that instead of the green container there is some kind of weird weird thing diesel fuel d-e-i-s-e-l diesel fuel 10 out of 10 oh wow <laughs> now yes a few years ago a c-130 actually landed on an actual aircraft carrier in real life and obviously took off off it again so you know what let's just go ahead and try and see if i could also land on an aircraft carrier shall we oh oh god God. And we have crashed. I am very nervous. Okay, flaps. This thing can easily run at 90 knots, which is just crazy for this size, obviously. How can this thing fly at 100 knots and not die? And yes, I already said it's very versatile as well. There are versions of actual... Oh, God, don't die. There are actual versions that are used for firefighting, which I also have. It can also be used to refuel planes, I guess. Yeah. yeah this is a very versatile plane and a pretty strong one, to say the least. Don't stall, don't stall, don't stall. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. Oh, not alrighty. Not alrighty at all. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Oh, my goodness. That was a... Come on. I mean, this plane is totally fine. We, we stopped, you know? Oh. Oh, there's actually a balloon right on top of the aircraft carrier. Oh, wow. We're gonna strike that one. We're gonna strike that one. Oh, that was very close. That was very, very close. But we didn't hit it. Gear. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Full power reverse thrusters. Let's go. Ooh. It, uh, did this already stop? Boom. Heart landing. Little bounce. And then three, two, one. Stopped. Literally. Okay. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, so yeah, you can definitely say, yeah, this plane is totally able to land here. No worries. That is a very savage plane. I'm pretty sure this plane can even fly with one engine. <laughs> but is it really able to then? Let me just check. Cut the mixture here, here, here. Okay, oh my god. I mean, the plane is so versatile that, that it can even uh, be, be used as a boat. So maybe let's try a very challenging airport, and that is Courchevel. All right, so you know what? Let's uh, use a different version of the C-130. We have the C-130AT. I don't know what that does, but I do know that the C-AT is used for firefighting. We're gonna test that out later, I guess. Let's just try this one, right? We have a lot of liveries. Let's just try Italy Air Force. Why not? Pizza, I mean, pizza. Uh, what is this used for? We have some kind of deploying thing here? Hmm. Yeah, I do not know. But let's just go ahead and take off this plane first. I do not actually know if this is gonna work, so let's just find out, right? Yeah, I mean, this plane is able to take off from an aircraft carrier so it should work okay let's go oof that was actually a bit close i mean let's just 
press the deployment key. Okay, that's also used for firefighting. That's very nice. Now, the red stuff that you could see getting deployed was actually retardant, which also is able to put out fires. Here it is. And that's what's actually used most by planes these days. Right, so this worked quite well, I guess. Uh... Oh, yep, this was able to take off. Maybe let's try landing the C-130 at Courchevel. I don't have a good feeling about that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, there's some... Oh, there's something on the runway. That's not good. Okay, let's try to somehow get this down right. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> I mean, you can kind of count that one as a landing, I, I guess. Yeah, maybe let's try not dying this time around. Oh, gear. Oh, no, gear. Yeah, Gear. gear might have been a good idea. Come on, let's do this very slowly and carefully now, right? I'm going to crash. Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking not too good, looking all right, looking- No! Oh, that was a hard one, that was a hard one. Bro, this was easy, this was- This was easy. This thing is able- what, what the hell is going on with those cars? There is a tunnel that you're supposed to use. Hello? Use this tunnel, please. Oh, the plane is actually- Oh, 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 no, oh. Yeah, this is a very steep part. No, don't use the- uh, God damn it. Now, you can actually see the size of the C-130. Like, this plane is not small. This plane is really not small. Jeez. Get get off. Get off. Oh, that's gonna be a collision. Oh, that was kind of close, I guess. Oh. No. Oh. Let's try Saba. I mean, that's literally the last resort. You know, when you try to destroy an airliner. That runway is really super, super short. Oh, and it's broken as well. Jesus. Hey, let's just take this one off, shall we? Ooh, bump. I mean, this is still totally fine, right? Right? <laughs> yes, let's do a smooth landing. Let's make Sally proud. That was not smooth. <laughs> Wait, this is working. I mean, what can this plane not do? I mean, come on, it can clearly also land upside down. Okay, inverted landing on water. This is what Sully should have done. Oh no, oh no, oh yeah, uh, that happens. Yeah, engines die when you go inverted for too long. Oh, oh wow. So yeah, guys, this was a little video about the C-130, the Russianist plane of the west so yeah thank you for watching today's video and i'll see you tomorrow as always good night